Sometimes in life, there's an objective in front of you. It doesn't seem like you can do it. But your father told me, never give up. Alfred, I think I'm gonna relegate myself to do this more easily. Master Wayne, that's just about the saddest thing I've ever heard. Of course, Trossard came into the lineup. Trossard's in there, stay in your face. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Is it four in the morning? Is the Vafanculo grandma gonna yell at me for recording this late at night? For an emotional episode like this, we need the most finned out hair we can possibly get. Yeah, that looks about right. <laughs> Leandro Trossard. Is there anything cool about him? He was born in Maasmechelen, Belgium, on the 4th of December, 1994. Do I look like the type of guy that just streamed me unlocking this Trossard card for seven hours straight? What's happening, boys? And welcome to the 85-rated league player, not storyline, the league player Leandro Trossard, arguably one of the best left wingers, one of the best left mids in the Premier League, something we've been starved of for a while. Really, we've only had the choice of Mane, who's pretty expensive, that ultimate screen Bernard, who's 200k in his own right, and then a couple others, uh, the Europa League Martial, a very, very expensive card still, uh, but then this card comes along and becomes a very attractive option to someone that might just want to grind the game, but uh, we got a lot of things to talk about in this episode. It looks like a very, very good card, 182 total in-game stat upgrades, but uh, like I always say, boys, if these epis in some way, shape, or form, again, it's 4 a.m., I want to try and get this out to you guys after the Spurs uh, after the Spurs match and then before the City-Chelsea match, so if you guys are enjoying these epis and they do help you in some way, uh, shape, or form, figure out if you want to grind towards this card or maybe swerve it, drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below and enough of me talking there we've got the 85 leandro trossard who took me like i said just over six hours to do uh, we're gonna dive right into it 180 to 182 total in game stat upgrade over his base gold card he is the best shooting winger left mid in the premier league so left wing or left mid would be categories that those players would be eligible for has the best shooting stats at 85 of any player there fourth total in game stats behind every version of Mane, which i believe is an inform, a regular card, and then the road to the foot market one. Uh, very similar, like I said, to the 186k uh, Ultimate Scream Bernard. Ultimate Scream Bernard is the better balanced card. He's got better attacking positioning. He's got better, he's faster, but he has less acceleration. So he's the more balanced card, and he'd be the option to go with if you don't want to grind this. But if you do want a very interesting card that has an opportunity, and that's the key word here, Jamie Foot Economist uh, said storyline versus league players. This is not a storyline player. This is a league player. Uh, all league players will be made available with league player items to reflect this difference. And what he means is um, league players, including this one and including Politano, who now has a card uh, a card style that looks like this, um, will have an additional upgrade opportunity. The storyline item is static. So all the storyline cards uh, do not get themselves upgraded. Has some really ridiculous looking stats. 97 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. That doesn't look great, but we're going to jack, jack that, that off with the Hawkeye chem style. We've got the 85 finishing that goes up to 90 with the Hawkeye. And then attacking positioning is something I wanted to jack off as well so that goes up to 89 81 shot power goes up to 91 and then 90 long shots so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try him out at cam but he looks like a guy that could actually be pretty nuts at striker as well so we'll play him at cam and striker in this epi we're actually not gonna play him out at a winger because i think he's almost not that he's wasted there he could literally play anywhere he could play left side right side striker cam and we're gonna find out in my opinion um if maybe he can do what politano did for us and and, and just be an absolute mad lad up at cam 98 agility 92 balance 85 ball control and 88 dribbling with 88 composure 99 jumping and he's 84 stamina uh jacked off the, uh, the strength and aggression with the hawkeye chem style as well so he's about he's um he's taller than bernard bernard i believe is 5'5 five, five. uh this trussard is 5'8 and i've unlocked this card on the rtg account as you guys can see here this is all first owner this is a no money in rtg uh we grinded our way towards balak we grinded our, our, our way towards nesta um and i am going to be using him in this particular squad even if he doesn't play incredible which i'm not expecting him i'm not expecting him to disappoint because the stats look that crazy uh even if he doesn't it'll be worth the grind i just you know i don't know i just feel such a sense of accomplishment having these cards in the account and it's no money in we didn't relegate ourselves we didn't uh, relegate ourselves we stayed in division four the entire time and literally just tried to go ham um and unlock his uh and, and try to unlock him as quickly as possible and one thing i would recommend is 
I didn't use any crazy players. I used McGinn. I used the likes of Vesley. I used the likes of that 81 um, hero Pookie who scored the last goal. He, that was literally the last thing we had to do, and he ended up being a hero for us. If you need the help, maybe splurge on some players that are that are high rated. But I didn't use anyone nuts. I used a lone Salah. I used a Wijnaldum. Um, who else did I use? I used uh, Callum. This is a silver. Oh, Vidra for Burnley. I used a uh, a Czech Republic player named Vidra for Burnley. And then there's this guy named Callum. Is it Robertson? I'm pretty sure it's Callum Robertson. He's a striker for. Uh, Callum Robinson. He's a striker for Sheffield. He was the key to my success, man. Very, very good looking striker. 86 acceleration, 84 sprint speed with 76 uh, with 76 finishing. Definitely recommend trying him out. But let's get into match number one with this Leandro Trossard. Bonjour. He looks like a bird. The top of his head looks, he looks like he's a bird. Okay, the agility is there. You only need a couple seconds with the ball at a player's foot to be able to tell if the agility is nuts. And the agility is there. There we go. Trossard. That's the body paint right there, boys. And you know we're doing the big man dance with the bird. Had to put that bird... <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, we're on the RTG account. He does the Spanish dance. <laughs> he's, so, he's so shocked that he scored. Body faint, that's the dribbling right there. And then the, uh, the finishing of dreams to put the chance through. Road to the foot market, uh, road to the foot market, Coleman. And sends it off to Timo Werner. We do the body faint uh, against his keeper. And we are up 2-1 in the 73rd minute. I think it was only a matter of time. Bro, I'm so glad we didn't sell him. Timo Werner. Bro. Werner, you gotta make that. When your boy Trossard is sending in those passes, and that's the difference with a Trossard, dude. Bernard doesn't have those passing set that Trossard has. The things I want to say right now is going to get get me kicked in my... Okay, we've got the victory, so that's all I care about. But how the hell was that not a pen? Match number two, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to waste one of my Hunter Chem styles on him. You know what we're going to do? Yeah. We're going to let this guy get his goals. I don't think you have to win with... Uh, you don't have to win with Sheffield and or... You don't have to win with Sheffield or Norwich. You just need to score. He's got the... What? What is this? For what? Why? I was literally going to give this guy a win. Another objective player? <laughs> it's the same guy. What are the chances? Are there seriously that few people playing? Literally, it's the exact same guy that we just came up against. You think he backs out again? This game sucks! Real okay. Really. Leandro Trussard. Que buen servicio de cara de gol. Ley de la venta. Lo va a empatar ahora. Gol. Ha llegado el empate. No, you're not you're not my representative. I will be talking for myself. This is an open and shut case and anybody who can't see that is a savage and an idiot. I don't believe that. I mean, it's Ben Yedder, but I don't believe that. Christian Pulisi. Mbappé. Gerard Piqué. Yo, Leandro Trossard. 
He is doing some next level type stuff. Usually, usually I lay that off to uh, lay that off to Werner to finish, but something came over me when I was making that run into the box. I was like, you know what? I can freaking make this thing, and of course it goes off the left post and into the back of the net. Leandro Trossard, you absolute albatross. What? Ahí está, ahí está, lo puede poner adelante. Atento, puede ser, está. Oh my god. How has he missed? Realistically, he should be on a hattie right now. I don't know how that missed. Halftime right now, four shots, two on target. Leandro Trossard is doing absolute bits. And I think he's finally reached his, uh, I think he's reached his final form as our left striker. Um, he's all over the pitch right now. And again, he's one of those cards that I think can play anywhere. Enamorando con su fútbol, no falla un pase. Ambicioso traslado. Ojo que puede... I got three humiliations. I got four. It's going to be a goal fest. It's going to be one of those matches that's just an absolute goal fest. Timo Werner. Cuidado que puede terminar en gol. Puede llegar el empate. It's got to be in. Cross, that's got to be in, dude. Buena pelota regalada. Sin entrar en locuras, debe darse prisa. De momento lo están haciendo bien. Buscan el empate. Oh my god, that's two chances. Last chance right here, boys. Oh, Ben Yedder. God, he's such a good card. Ben Yedder's such an incredible card, it's not even funny. 9.1 for Leonardo Trossard. Gets himself two goals. Almost got the Hattie there. I don't want to say he exactly let us down. They, were, they weren't exactly easy opportunities, but uh, I feel like he probably should have popped one of those through. Um, tackles, uh, sorry, dribbles completed 21 out of 27, so he was, he was very, very good there as well. That leaves us with only one thing left to do, and that is to give him his, uh, his Player's Wave U Infinity Gauntlet rating. Now, in terms of, uh, in terms of value, this took me just over, just over five hours and 45 minutes to do, and again, I think, like, if you're an average player, you should be able to do this, like, in a couple weeks' time, if you just, you know, chip at it away every day. Uh, it is not a, uh, it, now the wins thing is a little bit scary, like, it, it might scare you away, um, uh, from doing the objective entirely, but uh, if I'm being honest with you, it wasn't as much of a grind as I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I got it done in just under six hours done. So uh, I am going to give it a value of four out of five. Again, it does have a time component that you have to put in. Obviously, that's uh, that, that's it's not a monetary thing. It's not a coin thing. It's not a card thing. Uh, it's just uh, time that you have to invest into the game to get the card. So I am going to give it a four out of five. And in terms of on the pitch performance, he didn't exactly light it up in terms of goals, but uh, the the performances that he the shifts that he did put in were were very impressive in terms of the agility that that he can do and as you guys saw in this uh, third and final match he's got some really really nice finishing stats as well um and probably should have had himself a hattie in this uh in this third and final match but i am also going to give it a four out of five uh, turns into one of the best wingers in the premier league especially on the other side of the pitch where it's lacking we've got Mane, we've got martial we've got bernard and bernard really is the only other one in terms of players that's usable right now if you're in rivals in a high uh, division or if you're playing foot champs um uh, Bernard is probably the one that makes the most sense for you if you're going to buy one off the market. But uh, definitely a very, very nice option if you're looking to grind the game. Uh, and for me, is at least going to be a super sub on the RTG side. But that's going to do it, boys. Like I always say, boys, if these player episode ideas help you figure out if you want to do this card or not, or if you want to grind towards it, or if there's anything in this epi that you found entertaining or helpful, as always, boys, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload soon. If you're a Chelsea or City supporter, good luck with the match that's coming up. I will catch you guys for either another upload today or an upload tomorrow and then for sure a weekend league stream today. But uh, we'll catch you guys in a few hours. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.